Now, many students ask this question in YouTube or everywhere else, even on Biotechnica. I get a lot of emails saying that why biotech companies are not hiring freshers. Instead, they are asking for references. They're asking for somebody who can introduce them and all that stuff. So since I'm a part of a group called as iBiome, which is a network of CEOs and biotech entrepreneurs in India. So I get to interact with a lot of CEOs and today in their WhatsApp group, in the, our WhatsApp group, this discussion started. It actually started with a education video that our, our education is not relevant with the uh, skills which we need in the industry. So that is where it now, because all are entrepreneurs so, and uh, they all recruit uh, employees. So the direction changed to this question that why do we do not hire freshers and what are the challenges we face as entrepreneurs? So I'm going to read out from my mobile because that's there. It is written in a chronological order. So one of the, I'm not going to take names because I cannot identify them personally. But yeah, this is something which I'm reading out right from the WhatsApp group which we have and what they have to say. So uh, one uh, entrepreneur, one biotech company CEO says, um, so the question is, what is your screening and hiring criteria? He says that we hire freshers not on the basis of marks or rank, but on the basis of knowledge in the subject. That's point number one. Attitude to learn, point number two. And to get trained and work in a team. So these are three things. You see, all these three, I always say to you guys, but right now it is being said um, in this group. So basic subject knowledge, attitude to learn and to get trained. So you should be trainable. And then fourth one is you should be able to work in a team. So these are the four things, right? And now he shares his, uh, so he has this uh, startup since 2008. And he says that I've been hiring freshers since 2008. And these are the challenges which he faced. So most of the freshers or people, uh, job seekers start negotiating about salary or stipend even before the job offer is made. So that is something which, you know, straight away turns off the recruitment uh, manager or the CEOs. And most of these sm companies are small. So the CEO himself hires, like even I hire myself. So uh, the salary stipend negotiation, if you start doing even before you've been hired, so that is where you get rejected. So that's a point number one, learning number one. Second is, he says that the moment you are sent an email that, okay, you have been selected, you have to come for the interview. So the candidates start saying that today I cannot come, tomorrow I'll come. So you start seeking the interview schedule as per your convenience. So that is where this, you know, uh, turns off the employer and he will not interview you. So that's the second problem, scheduling. So probably whenever you get a chance for the interview, you have to straight away say, yes, I'll be there and do anything and everything impossible in the world to reach on the interview date and time. So that shows your commitment towards the job. And that's something you should not uh, start choosing that. No, no, I want to come on this date or that. You want the job, so do it. Okay, that's my advice. Now, the third thing is um, most of the freshers and even the experienced ones I have seen, they send the CV without a cover letter, right? So if you send a CV without a cover letter, employers don't know because CV is something which is just generic. But what excites you to do the job in my company if that is not very clear in the cover letter, I'll ne never read the resume, right? And this also looks like you are not passionate about the job. So if you're not passionate about the job, you took less time in applying, why should I take more time in hiring you? So that's where um, he says he will not hire such a candidate. Next, he says is we don't hire students or uh, job seekers who are not aware that they even applied for the company. So nowadays, if you go to the job portal, especially uh, Nokri and Monster, so you can just check all the jobs together and you can apply, right? Which Biotechnica doesn't do, but all the jobs you can just, uh, you know, select all and apply. So basically, when you get an interview call, you don't even remember that you applied there because you applied to many of them, right? So this is where the problem is. So you have to make sure that wherever you are applying, you remember which company you applied and uh, you know you should also follow up so that you remember okay and that is very very important so uh, that's a actually a very important valid point which he makes that you're not aware even that you have applied for the job so when you get an interview call you say oh, i don't remember and that's where you re get rejected straight away right in fact one of the candidate i called and uh, she was sleeping so if you are sleeping when the uh, person is calling and then um, you know uh, you reply in a casual way you get rejected so that is where you have to be really attentive when you are getting an interview call or a call from HR for the interview or that you have been selected. So you have to, you have to be professional. 
The next point which he makes is uh, coming for the interview dressed up as if you are coming for a movie or a uh, picnic. So that is a mistake. You have to be dressed professionally. A normal t-shirt and a, uh, jeans will do. But if you are wearing something which is not for the, that particular, um, you know, it's probably revealing or if it is um, too uh, unauthentic or it looks very casual, then, you know, that's something which is a strict no-no for an uh, employer, right? So this is where the attitude, because your dressing sense reflects your attitude towards your work. So yeah, that's something which you should know. The next point which he makes is not willing to reveal the college, but only mentioning the university. So there are many small colleges under every university. So you are thinking that if I reveal my college, which is a small college, this particular company will not hire me. You know the truth? Uh, he has written it later that I prefer uh, students from a smaller college than a bigger college. Even I, I do that. I prefer students from a, a job seeker from a smaller college because they are down to earth. These big uh, company, colleges, uh, students or job seekers, they have very big and high aspirations, which a small company like us cannot uh, meet. So that is where, so biotech, small companies will not, uh, you know, probably uh, prefer a bigger college they prefer a smaller college so don't hide your college mention your college okay the next thing which he um, mentions is many times a lot of students from the same college will apply right so now all the cover letter all the cvs are looking the same right and that is where all get rejected because all of you are looking the same so always make sure that your cv is different than your friend or your you know circle because if you are applying and he's applying if all looks the same then the employer will be confused whom to hire and that is where you all may get rejected. So that's something you should know. Another point he makes is uh, most of the students prefer R&D job and not QC and manufacturing job. You know, if you are thinking that if you take up a QC and manufacturing job, you can never switch to R&D, that's not truth. The first thing is you have to take the job. Whatever you're getting, take the job, learn on the job, train yourself, work in a team, get used to the environment and then probably uh, go for a higher education and switch to R&D. That can always be done. So the most important thing is getting the job, right? And gaining experience. Now the ne next thing uh, he says, and he mentions, this has happened and uh, this has happened to me also, that you come to the interview uh, room, not even the venue, the room with, the, with your parents. Please don't be so insecure that you come along with the parents because parents are not here for you, for your job. You are going to represent yourself for the job and that's a big turn off and that is where even before the interview starts, the recruiter has made up his mind that he's not going to recruit you because you need your parents to pitch for your job, right? No, you should pitch the, for the job. Your, your relatives, your friends should not pitch for the job. And the last point he makes is uh, sometimes even uh, parents start requesting that please give me a job in this particular branch, not that branch. Now, it is company's choice which branch they give you for the job. And even he mentions that sometimes uh, you don't even apply, you ask your friend to forward the CV to your recruiter. Please don't do that. You have to apply, right? So these are the 10 points which he has mentioned. And later on, we have uh, more points coming in from uh, other CEOs also as we speak. So these are, these are the pointers I wanted to share. Now, a uh, quick check. I wanted to let you know that many of the biotech CEOs prefer a smaller city um, biotech uh, professional than a bigger city because they feel that uh, smaller city people are more down to earth so that's a good news for you guys right so that's a hidden uh, truth but uh, please if you are from a bigger city please don't be disappointed it's not it doesn't mean that they won't hire you it just means that uh, if you open a big mouth they're not going to feed it so you have to be down to earth during the interview okay so these are the few pointers which i wanted to share and one last point which i wanted to let you know whether you are a fresher or experienced please do not switch a company within a year or two at least spend two years there or one and a half year there learn something new so that you can use that experience later on that's the first point and the second point is don't just abscond if you don't like the job serve the notice period there so that you can get the experience letter and you can use that late, later on when you apply for the next company and you can get a reference from this previous company right because getting your first job is so difficult so you don't you should not allow that to happen so these are the pointers which i wanted to share and these are coming from the horse's mouth these are the ceos of um, uh, you know biotech companies who are a part of the ibiome group which is a network of biotech ceos across india and very soon it's going to go global as well. So if you want to hear more from me and if you have any questions or comments, please put them down in the comment section. If you have any personal question about your career, you can always write to me at shekhar at biotechnic.org. I believe that uh, every talent deserves the right job 
and there must be a right job waiting for you. All you have to do is hunt it down and present yourself that you are the most down to earth and most eligible candidate for that job. Success will come your way. Thank you so much. My blessings are always with you. Peace.